using surface fill you know with the gloves and scattering it all over one of the things from here and uh, these curves if you are working on like complex shapes and if you use many curves like these um, they will be they could be annoying when you're rotating or uh, when you're looking at your um, model so if you think closing all these curves then here you are as you see it on the side C a is a shortcut to using curves so I will use C or B in B menu you know I can use this curves here and I hide it a little bit so you know but for the sketch here again uh, but the purpose of this sketch is just to you know so we can just do it okay so I need You can understand the differences this one i'm i'm sure that uh, you'll get used to uh, uh, used to the differences between tangent from here to reflection and curvature from here to reflection is on the right now i can easily understand uh, that this radius is i mean uh, this fill of sphere uh, is gained by curvature from here because um, the, the reflections are being pretty much smooth compared with uh, tangent from here as you see it's in a curvature from here okay let's close it and turn off the curves okay so uh, as you see we we made the whole body the shell of the uh, pc mouse as you see it's a regular model nothing special about it you can make many other details you can have a paper route uh, like a cable route um, uh, or you can have some battery bays here for a wireless mouse you can make many other design uh, you know other design and details about this mouse but uh, my purpose is to show you how to make it to create all these surfaces so so we need a uh, drawing here we are so I made it here using the glass picture so what I did was right click here define any surface surface here and then uh, I use glass feature simple extrude mm -hmm. extrude feature nothing special about it let's say let my height be equal to 100 yeah 100 I think then I use radius well this radius is uh, could be a little bit special so I'm pretty sure that I can select this feature here and I can isolate it in order to define it directly. So, uh, in this case, shell here, the full round, uh, full round fillet could be pretty much useful in these cases. So you don't have to deal with putting a fillet in this edge and putting another uh, edge. And I mean another fillet in this edge. So you need to. Perform the contouring among uh, surfaces, so it's, 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 it's a trouble. The best way is uh, to use um, full round fillet in these cases. So I selected one surface and then I took up and turned the other side. So it creates a tangent from here using a fillet uh, among all these uh, surfaces, and it was no trouble. You see, it's smooth once and it was what I was telling is that for example let's see it's four millimeter uh, it is a four millimeter difference okay in order to uh, make round uh, in order to make these edges round here 0.03 so 
code set, what that could be some kind of sometimes. Let's see. So there's a line here. I think it's annoying sometimes. Uh, or you can think one. Those are the options you might have. But I don't want to make it because this one looks pretty. So I used it. And you can use this full round fillet uh, anytime you like in different settings. Let me show it to you again. You set up full round fillet here. So you have it the first edge. You, I mean, the first surface, the second surface, and the third surface. You see a preview right after you select the third one. There we go. It's pretty. Anyway. Exiting the icon SD, get back to our main point. So we need a contour surface in order to control this uh, uh, mouse wheel uh, easily. We need a, you know, contour surface around this uh, wheel. So how can we make it? It's easy. space well uh, I have to collapse the bottom in the uh, case in this case and to show you how it looks like and collapse here okay before using the sweep surface speed uh, feature uh, at first make these curves uh, appear so then I could be able to make these blends. So what I did first was um, creating this grid at the uh, right plane here, at the right plane, the right planes. Uh, I created this curve here uh, well, uh, considering the distance between the top my left and my right and the deepest part surface which we are going to make and then in order to make a sweep I need to define a profile so uh, I create this I created this plane uh, which is created on the end point of this uh, this uh, you know this uh, this line here so it's better to show it did what I did was selecting the line first then by pressing control T by pressing control T after selecting this line uh, I selected the end point of the same line I selected and this surface appeared uh, perpendicular to the line and perpendicular to the end point of uh, perpendicular to the line and as you see it's perpendicular uh, so it's easy when making profiles uh, depending on the uh, path which is to follow on sweep it's a, it's a nice way okay and then uh, after you know it's easy to get the rest uh, after you make this plane here simple sweep function here and now I'll cut this area I'll, uh, I'll cut this area between these two faces and we have a contour surface around the wheel 